What's up, B2 Capital G here? Got a godly duel for you guys to check out. I mean that in the literal, since we have an actual god card in one of the opening hands. World Chalice coming through with the Obelisk of Tormentor. I see you up there hanging out, Obelisk. Uh, some people are probably wondering why the heck Obelisk is actually in a World Chalice build. And when you really think about it, it does actually make a lot of sense. It gives this deck much needed offense. Well, World Chalice does have offense, but you know, if you don't get your full combo off, sometimes it's not exactly the most damage this card can be summoned from the hand with are you just gold dread or more easily you can pitch it to the graveyard to summon your lead back and then you can actually just use chosen's effect and you can get it on board and it is still a 4,000 beater now it will destroy itself during the end phase but if you just kill your opponent right then and there that effect obviously doesn't matter so he's facing off against them noble knights we got custom in and the boys here so this is the new post cybernetic horizon build let's see let's see how this is gonna shake up i, I feel like noble knights probably need to go for i sold first i think i sold still by far the best card in this entire archetype and that's what he's going for i mean she's just the card that per that presents the ability to get this to so much advantage you can summon boars straight from your deck you load your graveyard up with uh all your noble arms he already has like four of them in the graveyard and one on field he's gonna summon um a Torgus, and then that card can just get like all the noble arms back from the graveyard he's gonna get three of them uh one two three boom i think this is a it's a pretty decent turn one field the artorgus is pretty powerful i mean it's it has immunities to a whole lot of stuff now you can still just kaiju that mother lover and that'll pretty much be the end of that but outside of that it is it's fairly difficult to deal with well unless you boil load it which he could i, I think he now nah, he can actually let me pause he could he instead of summoning obelisk well he can still do it he does summon obelisk from the graveyard I told you he could get it on field really easily, but he could actually summon Borlo Dragon right here, right now, because he does have a two. He has, you know, uh, well, a link two, and then he has two more effect monsters. So he could easily just win the game here by just Borlo loading. But that wouldn't be fun. You want to use your god cards if you're going to summon him. So put that beat down on him. Now, it can't be destroyed by battle. That is unfortunate. He's going to take down the Isode. He does summon Borlo Dragon in main phase two which um i don't know about that i feel like noble knights might be able to work around that especially because it's uh it was 3500 now here's where he got debated what happened is he attacked in the borlo dragon and i think that like the the player playing world chalice was like oh i'm just gonna boil load i'm gonna cut his dude down to size i'm gonna take 500 attack away cap then he's gonna lose it unfortunately a target can't be targeted so when he activated borlo dragon he then has to target something so he has to end up targeting his ib so yeah you gotta read these uh no one wants to read these fucking no born cards anyway so <laughs> i imagine that's what happened to him but it's perfectly fine this is the you know don't call to come back he's gonna turn chosen into m duck and pretty much is off to the races from there he's gonna go back uh he's gonna go back into um arum oh wait did i call this one chosen i'm sorry it, it's the same kid it's it's both avram but he goes into arm now he's going to be able to search from lee He's going to summon Obelisk back from the graveyard. This time, he's not playing around. He is going to go ahead and link summon into that Boa Sword Dragon. And this card is just too much. He's going to go ahead. He's going to attack. He's going to put um, uh, Chosen into... Not Chosen. What is this guy? Then in Garrisu, uh, World Child's Beckon. He put it in defense mode so that his uh, his Boa Sword Dragon could attack twice. And Boa Sword gains the... It gains, what, half of the attack of the monsters attacking into. So there was no way he was going to survive. This guy being able to attack twice at 4,600 hundred and then obelisk the tormentor being able to attack for four thousand see this kind of does show you still the fundamental problem that noble knights have because this this guy like he was basically begging for his plays to be disrupted he didn't have any back or remove or anything like that as cool as these plays were where he was making boral load and boral sword and dropping obelisk during the same turn if his opponent would have had a simple solemn strike or just any way of disrupting as noble knights don't really have he probably would have been able to easily win win this duel because uh, i think he could have run uh, ran um or he could have rode a target to victory but uh, noble knights don't really have any disruption cards and sometimes that's the problem the Boral cards exist, and the Monarch Stormforth, and all other tar non-targeting cards like Erebus and Tiramisu, they can all kind of wreck Noble Knight's hard. So, just a nice little short duel. If you guys did enjoy it, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, thank you guys for watching, as always. I'm saying, uh, because I'm wondering if people are going to want to see this World Chalice Divine build with Obelisk. You know what? I'll go ahead and show it. 
So this is what the deck looks like on paper. Not gonna lie, it's definitely a little funky. Maybe not the best World Chalice build the world has ever seen. Uh, I'm looking at the good old days. Remember when um, when Avram and Nagirisu were actually buddies? Look at them. They were all friends and whatnot. Now they're trying to kill each other. And the new are really the continuation of the storyline. This, uh, this really takes me back looking at the old World Chalice cards. Seeing Abe still alive when she's first meeting up with, uh, with Lee and all that other good stuff but yeah it doesn't really look like there's anything completely out of the ordinary obviously just the obelisk but some of these other cards like rescue rabbits rescue ferret we've seen them uh, i guess uh like periodically in world child's builds generally the best world child's build is the one that's going to be kind of anchored off of a, a firewall disrupt and you know a gamma seal which usually means you're going to run kaijuto waterfront none of those cards are here in this deck he decides to go with a trap lineup that's a little weird just kind of a lot of ones evenly match and solemn strike and heavy storm duster and one copy of a uh, stormy mirror force in fact there is no firewall dragon even in the extra deck that's what i'm talking about this is a, a this is a this is a god version of world child so we don't need no stinking firewall dragon but i'm pretty sure there was going to be somebody who said cap show the deck so i'm showing the deck